carry out their constitutional mandate yesterday afternoon, today, and tomorrow. And I want to ask the Inspector General of Police, even now, anybody who wants to picket around Parliament needs to notify the police where they want to picket, over what, if they can write to the speaker, I am sure, around KICC on the opposite side, I think there is already some space that is now already de designated as a picketing corner. And your right to picket and demonstrate ends where mine to carry out my constitutional work as a member of parliament begins. Nobody should attempt to stop any member of parliament from coming to do their work as members of parliament. However you feel about the finance bill or any other business. And you may as well protest in our constituencies. You may protest anywhere else, but do so peaceably or in a peaceful manner and in line with all the provisions of Public Order Act, Honorable Speaker. Therefore, I don't want to take that there was any sinister move in excluding people who the police and the Inspector General of Police felt were a threat to the security of members of parliament. Because above anything else, Honorable Speaker, our own safety here, as the Speaker said, the substantive Speaker said yesterday, is paramount. And that's why the Speaker even yesterday was pleading with us, even as we walk in. As I walked in here, I stood there and allowed the Sergeant at arms to carry out a body search on me. I was hoping the Speaker yesterday would name the member who was threatening to strip because a sergeant at times has asked her to be searched. Because members, as the speaker said yesterday, we must be careful. If we lose any one of us here because of a bombing, or somebody walks in here with a gun. I remember in the last parliament, there was an incident where a member was seated behind me here. And was said to have carried a gun. So the things that we are talking about, Honorable Speaker, are not things in the air. Honorable Speaker. <laughs> Honorable Speaker, you need to protect the Honorable Babu Owino. Babu Owino has never carried a gun into the chamber. Babu Owino has only carried guns elsewhere. <laughs> Therefore, you need to make sure that Babu Owino does not walk in here with a gun or indeed Kemani Shungwa doesn't walk in here with a gun, or anything else, even a grenade, Honorable Speaker. Therefore, Honorable Speaker, I would beg uh, that uh, we do allow our security agencies to secure us, but to tell Kenyans and the world that the Parliament and the National Assembly of Kenya is an open place for people, and Kenyans are free to pick it. Kenyans are free to air their views. If anything, I said yesterday, this finance bill is the only finance bill, actually the only bill that we have transacted in the last close to 15 years that has had the most robust public participation. As I came this morning, I was listening to a local FM still called Kamehameha FM. And on that Kamehameha FM, Honorable Speaker, I had some former MCA who was a cleaner in my county yeah, he used to be a sweeper and was elected, fortunately, as an MCA, pretending to be a finance expert and saying all manner of fake things on Kamehameha FM. But since we know the Kamehameha FM, the owners are part of the propaganda machinery against the finance bill, we allow them. And we, I, I also want to assure the people of Kenya, even as they picket, even as they express their views, as I said during the second reading, a lot of the misinformation, lies, and propaganda, including that on Kamehameha FM, does, will, what you are being told is not true. Nobody will die because this finance bill has passed. Nobody will get hurt because this finance bill has been passed by this house. And I want to ask the Honorable Robert Bui also, this afternoon, be ready to vote for those progressive clauses in that bill that you think will be beneficial to the people of Kathiani, those that you think are not beneficial, I want to ask you to bring amendments and not to play to the gallery. Honorable Speaker.
Let me end it there because we have very important business ahead of us and I don't think this was a matter for debate. I just want to respond to my uh, good friend, the Honorable Pio Andai, to assure him that he is secure, he is safe, but as much as you are safe, please do not organize anybody to preclude me from coming to the House or any member of Kenya Kwanzaa to be intimidated or any member of Azimio to be intimidated by those who support this bill from coming to oppose this bill on the floor. Babu Awino should have the freedom to come and oppose this bill on the floor. And I know those who are not in the House, like the, my friend, the, the former leader of minority, the Honorable John Buddy, uh, gets very excited because he needs to be seen that he is opposing this bill. 